it's uh, very far above my expectation. Show the customers what we can do with our product. My name is Yvonne Sapin and I oversee the baking technology area at Siggy. Today we've got a very special day going on with a group that's here from Indonesia, a long way from home. In our baking session we're looking at um, flour functionality in their typical end products. Indonesia is a large market for Canadian wheat and so uh, we've got a very diverse background, all from QC, marketing, and so some of them really haven't had the opportunity to have hands-on experience with Canadian wheat in the baking area. My name is Sylvia Wong, and I work for Bogasari for 15 years, and right now I'm uh, as a quality assurance and management representative manager, and uh, this is uh, the first time I came uh, to Winnipeg for SIGI and I got a lot of uh, knowledge from these trainings. We use Canadian with CWRS yeah, and we use for our premium products. Uh, our premium products is for uh, bread and for noodle making. We, what we do is uh, baking, uh, product, baking process uh, for chapati and for uh, pan bread. Making chapati, making Indonesian style uh, bread. We'll be making uh, flatbread later with them. So just give them a first hand approach, uh, you know, looking physically at the dough, feeling the dough, looking at the different classes, benchmarking one to the other. Um, because they're most familiar with CWS, but of course have interest in, in other classes of Canadian wheat as well. Hi, I'm Norbert Cabral from CIGI, milling department, and uh, with us now is uh, the group from Saudi Arabia, and they are, they will be doing, uh, they are the fifth group actually from Saudi Arabia, and they will be doing a six month uh, milling course. Um, Right now, they are having a tour in our facility and uh, we are discussing the overview of uh, milling and the department and the function of, uh, and the purpose of the facilities that we have right now. Uh, hello, my name is Peter Froelich and I am the project manager for pulses and special crops here at the Canadian International Graves Institute. Uh, today, we're processing a promotional item uh, made from pulses and durum semolina. It's a pasta, we call it the tritini and it's a combination of black bean flour, um, yellow bean flour, and red lentil flour mixed with durum semolina. Add about 30% pulse flour to durum semolina. And uh, it's a promotional item to, uh, to hand out at the Farm Progress Show in Regina, Saskatchewan. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to um, show the capabilities of using pulse ingredients in food products. And the whole idea is to increase the nutrition of regular uh, spaghetti or pasta using pulse ingredients on pulse flours. And we have wonderful crops here in Canada and we want to promote them in such a way as to put them into conventional food products like pastas. We received funding from the provincial government for new equipment and the Mixel Lab from Chopin is one of the new pieces of equipment we received. This, this piece of equipment is fairly new and we've started to notice that it's uh, in different labs all over the world. In my travels to Latin America, I've seen it in a few labs, as well as it's been seen in labs in Asia. The Mixo Lab is used to measure rheological properties of flour. So not only can we test wheat flour on this piece of equipment, we can also analyze pulse flours. So it mixes the, the dough um, for about eight minutes at a constant temperature, then it's going to increase the temperature of the dough. And it's so the first part is gives us an idea of the um, development time and the the dough strength. And then um, the second part of the test, when it's heating, gives us an idea of the starch properties and the enzyme activity in the flour. Having equipment that um, we know are in labs around the world helps us train the participants that we have at SIGI. For example, we are working with a Moroccan group and they, we know they have one in their labs, so this just helps with the training for that program.